me see. Why do why in the Christian church do they pass around the collection plate? Bring it up. Why do they do that? What's that about? Paying for what? Paying for service? What you say? Why? They just want okay. They just want some money. You probably say the same thing, right? Because can I just yeah yeah yeah. Go, go ahead. Because first of all, God said when you when you teach my word, you like right. 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 But when you go to begging, uh -huh. you got an issue. Right. You know what I'm saying? But don't bring it into the face of others because you're trying to have a lifestyle because you just want that lifestyle. Right. Right. Like 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 T D Jakes for example or Creflo Dollar. I need to bind them. These mega pastors, right? That's right. Watch what God says about what he just said. That's a heavy point. It's the book of Micah, chapter 3 and verse 11. Come on. The heads thereof judge for reward. So the leaders, the church leaders, they judge for reward. Come on. And the priests thereof teach for hire. They teach for hire. They teach for money. Right? They do it because they want to get that money. They live in that life. Well, guess what? The congregants can barely afford to even make it. We live in we live in, in poverty, but guess what they're not doing? They're not teaching us to come out of our sins. They're not showing us how to rebuild the black community. They're not showing us how to rebuild the family structure. Right. They're not teaching men how to be men. Right. They're not teaching our women how to be women, how right. to take care of their kids. That's right. You know women have to be taught how to raise children? You know a man has to be taught how to be a father? You know these things? Our leaders who have the word of God, they're supposed to show us how to do it out of the Bible. But if they're only teaching for hire, for money, how are we going to learn? You know what that means? Give me Matthew 23 and verse 23. You know what that means? That means that they're not teachers of God. They're false prophets. Bring it out! All day. All day. All day. So how do, we know, how do we know who the right prophets are? I'm going to show you. The Bible gives you the answer. Matthew 23 and verse 23. Watch this. Wake up, Bob. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 23 and verse 23. Come on. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. So Christ is getting on the leaders of that time. Yeah. Same way we got leaders today. He said, exactly. destruction unto you. Read. Hypocrites. They're hypocrites. Our, our pastors, a lot of them are hypocrites. A lot of them, they, 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 they promote, they say that they got one wife, they do this. But a lot of them, T.D. Jakes and they come out the closet. Yeah. They, they sleeping with women in the, in the church. They embezzling money. Right? right? They fighting. That's right. That's all this right. kind of stuff. That's right. They do all these things, but they're hypocrites. Come on. For ye pay tithe of mint and anise uh -huh. and cumin. They ask us to pay tithes. Read. And have omitted the weightier matters of the law. But they omit the more important things going on in our communities. For example, right? A couple comes in asking for marriage counsel. And oftentimes, tell me if you see this or not, the pastor will go to the man and tell him what he's doing wrong and comfort the wife. Or he'll never give the solution. He'll just say, just pray about it. Just believe. Come to church. You ain't giving them time. No, that's not the answer. God says you got to deal with the more important things in our families. Because we are a broken family. That's right. A lot of us grew up with separated households. Right. But how do we put an end to that? We got to come back to God's laws. God says marriage is honorable. Are That's you married, right. sister? No? Are you married? You're divorced? You know divorce was never supposed to be a thing in the Bible? You know that wasn't... Give me... Go back to that. Matthew 19. Divorce was never supposed to be a thing. But I guarantee a lot of us know family, or we got family, or we live it, or we we met that uh, situation. Or we just had a girlfriend, had kids, and then that was it. No marriage. But watch what God says. And this is what the pastors, our leaders, are supposed to teach us. Come on. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 5. Come on. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and his mother, uh -huh. and shall cleave to his wife. Come on. And they shall be twain, shall be one flesh. So God's law is we have to get married. Marriage is honorable, and you got to do it the right way. Come on. Wherefore, they are no more twain. But one flesh. Because you're no longer by yourself. You got a family to start. You got to take care of them. The man got to be in the kid's life. The, the woman got to be in the kid's life. Come on. They say unto him, huh? Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement? So why was divorce even a thing? Read. And to put away. He saith unto them, huh? Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you to put away your wives. So. Divorce was a thing because our, because we're hard-headed people. I guarantee a lot of the 
90% of the reason why divorce is even in the black community because it's something that we could have worked out yeah. amongst each other. That's right. Bring it out! And we didn't do it. That's right. for the family and he's not there all the time you got to work to help because he's trying to take care of the household that's right right he gotta he gotta he gotta make sure things is in order you gotta let that man do what he's doing or if the woman if she i don't know she likes to hang out on certain days or she has certain likes and hobbies that you don't agree with that gotta be worked out and more importantly don't let people get in the midst of your marriage don't let other people tell you how your marriage is supposed to go if they not come with the Bible. Bring it out! Guess what happens? I, I, I'm pretty sure y'all know this. The woman will have a problem with her husband, right? And she'll, who's the first person she'll go tell her problems to? The pastor? That's one. Who else? Her friend? Her friends! Her friends, who else? That's right. Her mama! That's right. Her dad! So her dad too! And guess what happens? What, what advice do they tell them? What advice do they give to the woman? Do they ever tell her, listen, y'all gotta work that out? That happens in marriage. There's ups and downs. Do they ever say that? There you go. Because guess what happens? A lot of times they don't even like the husband. That's what happens. The friends, oh, I, you shouldn't have never got with him. Oh, I told you he was no good. Come on home. All this and that. God said, no. Y'all got to keep that together. All right, is that your wife right there? It's your lady? Are y'all married? Yep. Y'all got to get married. God is about marriage. Hebrews 13 and 4. Hebrews, God, God is about that. God's not about boyfriend and girlfriend. Marriage is the foundation of a strong nation. If we don't have that, we lose that. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Come on. Marriage is honorable in all. God said marriage is honorable above everything. Come on. And the bed undefiled. What you do with your wife in the bed, that's up to y'all. As long as it fits within the laws of God, y'all good. But that's because it's your wife. Come on. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. But God said whoremongers and adulterers, he's going to judge them. That means what? Boyfriend and girlfriend, God has judgment for that. There's no, there's no, there's nothing in the Bible that says boyfriend and girlfriend is okay. You gotta make, how long have been together? I'm gonna ask a question and put y'all on the spot. What's your name? Robert and what's your name, sis? Camille? Robert and Camille, I'm gonna put y'all on the spot. Watch this. Do y'all have intentions of getting married to each other? You do? Do you intend to marry him? What's stopping you? Nothing? You know how simple it is? You go down to the courthouse, you take 40 bucks. Pay for the marriage license, have it signed and notarized, and you're good. That's the thing. That's that's a spiritual move that God wants us to do. Because then, when you have kids, now you can show them the family structure. Y'all got kids? You got kids? You got, you got kids? When y'all have kids, y'all can build the family structure based off of marriage, based on what God says. You can be that example. The the, the statistics in the black community is one out of four black uh, household ends in divorce. And most of the time, it's initiated by the woman. That's a statistic that plays our communities. And we shouldn't have that. We should have marriages that last for 40, 50, to the end of time. Because that's what we say. Till death do us part. Right? Read what you got. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, in the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, 
God will judge. Now, give me Sirach 37 12. Now, as y'all, the one thing that y'all have to make sure y'all have together, and I want to give this to you, sis, I'm going to give you something. You, want, you need to make sure that in this household is God's laws. God is not about uh, Buddha, Christmas, Easter. Those things aren't in the Bible. God is not about sin. You got to make sure sin is in the household. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 37. In verse 12, but be continually with the godly man mm -hmm. whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. So in order for the union to work for you two and for anybody, even yourself, even for myself, even for our unions to work, we got to make sure that the commandments of God are there. And we know that the others, that our spouse is keeping God's laws. Bring it we got to know that. God said, read it again. Read it again. The book of Sirach, chapter 37, verse 12. Come on. But be continually with the godly man, uh -huh. whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, Read. whose mind is according to thy mind. And y'all have to be on one accord. Marriage, a lot of times, people get married for the wrong reasons, and they're not and they're not in sync with each other. They're dis they're they're disconnected from one another. That's why when problems arise, they don't know how to solve it. When problems happen in your household, y'all not going to know how to solve it if you don't keep God's laws. That's the thing. You gotta go, you gotta fly, right? Check that flyer out. Check that information out. You gotta be the mom? Give us a call. Reach subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We got a YouTube. IUIC open. Check us out. Check it. Matter of fact, you got your smartphone right there. System. Pull up YouTube and subscribe to our channel. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time. Oh, you know